The second and last round table of today's session is called the Implementation of Sustainable Tourism Policies at a Territorial Level. For this panel, uh, we have invited representatives of local, regional and state governments who will discuss the implementation of tourist policies and the challenges of sustainable tourism. The moderator will be Mrs. Lola Wendia, Digital Communication Manager at Hostel Tour, and we are honored to announce that the participants are Mr. Francesc Vila, General Manager of the Tourism Department of the Barcelona Provincial Council, Mrs. Manuela Bigi, Manager at the Economic Promotion and Tourism Department of the Tuscany Region and Panoramed Tourism Expert, Mrs. Magali Ferrand, Directrice Déléguée de Tourisme et Thermalisme de la Région d'Occitanie and Panoramed Tourism Expert as well, Mrs. Natalia Havidic, Head of the Sector for Strategic Planning and Implementation of EU, EU programs and projects from the Ministry of Tourism of Croatia and a Panorama Tourism Expert. And last but not least, Mrs. Elia Apostolopoulou, Head of the Department for Monitoring EU projects from the Ministry of, Ministry of Tourism of Greece and Panorama Tourism Expert. The implementation of sustainable tourism policies at a territorial level. When you're ready, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for attending and for joining this session. It's the last one, so thank you for, the, for your patience. Uh, we are going to do it in English, but some of the panelists are going to speak also in French and in Catalan, so if you need your translation, just uh, have it with you. In this debate, we're going to debate about the strategies and challenges faced by the administrations to implement sustainable tourism policies. During the day, we've been learning a lot about tourism and how it can lead the way for a more inclusive growth in the Mediterranean. And how is it important to do it while preserving our resources? Now it's time to talk about tools, projects, and results developed by several administrations in the Mediterranean countries, and how all that can be used in other territories. As you know, the projects of the sustainable tourism community have been working on several key aspects concerning the development of a more sustainable tourism the Mediterranean fields, like how to monitor the tourism sustainability, the tourism impacts in different dimensions, how tourism can be used as a strategic driver for responsible economic growth, and also governance mechanisms to engage different stakeholders in coastal and maritime destinations. As I said, we have these experts with us, and we are going to talk about all these topics. Most of them are part of Panorama, so they are going to talk also about the, that project. And to start with, I would like to ask you all about, from your experience, um, what are the main challenges to face in terms of sustainable tourism in your own territories? We can start from, from you and okay. do it in order. Bona tarda i moltes gràcies per poder ser aquí. Parlarem català perquè és com millor em puc expressar. Lamento no poder usar l'anglès per comunicar-me amb vostès, però ho farem la meva llengua. Bé, els principals reptes que tenim amb una administració que és de caràcter local, que vol dir que s'orienta a les necessitats dels municipis que estan a la nostra regió, de la província de Barcelona, és capilaritzar, fer arribar, compartir amb els responsables locals i amb les empreses del sector turístic els objectius que es deriven dels 17 ODS de les Nacions Unides. Aquests objectius que semblen molt evidents, que ja des del 2015 cap aquí els coneixem, ho hem vist a la taula anterior, la seva traslació a la gestió del dia a dia 
al que seria en el terreny de l'administració local i de les empreses, doncs és molt difícil o és molt lent. Aquest és un aspecte. Un altre repte que tenim plantejat, al litoral especialment, és la desconcentració, és la desestacionalització del turisme, és la diversificació de l'oferta a través de les noves propostes de producte turístic i que és amb el que estem treballant. Per fer possible superar aquests reptes, doncs bé, nosaltres estem impulsant a través del que és el sistema Biosphere de turisme sostenible i responsable. Ja s'ha dit, nosaltres com a institució tenim la certificació Biosphere i el que estem és impulsant un sistema que faciliti que les destinacions locals i el món empresarial del sector turístic adquireixi la sensibilitat, la consciència que la seva destinació o el seu negoci turístic evolucioni cada vegada en la direcció de ser més sostenible. Aquests, per mi o per nosaltres, són els principals reptes. Què sobre Elia? on the one hand on a high concentration of tourism flows over time uh, with specific destinations having only a very short high season and a very high concentration over no geographical uh, place. Uh, for example, we have worldwide popular destinations like Santorini in Greece, mm -hmm. which are overwhelmed by tourists. Yeah. This is overuse of resources, as already said, uh, infrastructure, public services, yeah. human resources. I think that's a problem with the microphone. Okay. And another thing that has also emerged is the new types of tourism accommodation mm -hmm. uh, caused by overflow of tourism, yeah. uh, which is sharing economy that has a negative impact on the housing market and affecting the social sustainability uh, while leaving limited opportunities for the local residents. And that's the turn for Magali. Yeah, my apologies because I'm going to speak French. It's easier for me. Euh, la région Occitanie est une région qui est assez grande et euh, qui a un littoral important. Néanmoins, comme nous avons, comme la plupart des régions méditerranéennes, euh, des atouts à l'intérieur des terres, le premier challenge, c'est de continuer la diversification de notre tourisme, la diversification dans l'espace et dans le temps, de façon à continuer à attirer des touristes, puisque c'est quand même un de nos objectifs, même s'il n'est pas durable du point de vue du professeur Fonte. Euh, le deuxième challenge, c'est donner de la valeur aux destinations. C'est-à-dire qu'on a des destinations qui sont très fortes, mais on est capable de faire émerger de nouvelles destinations en leur donnant de la valeur, de la valeur en préservant ou en mettant euh, en évidence euh, leur, euh, leur, leurs attraits en les rendant accessibles. Donc on est dans une logique de structuration de 40 destinations à haute valeur qui deviendront un jour peut-être des smart destinations. En mm -hmm. tout cas, nous, on leur a donné un label interne qui s'appelle Grand Site Occitanie. J'ai un troisième challenge qui, lui, a plus trait à, au, au caractère social. Euh, L'emploi touristique en Occitanie, c'est 7,1% des emplois. Même si ce n'est pas durable, c'est quand même le cas. Et euh, il faut qu'on qu préserve ces emplois, qu'on les développe, qu'on les professionnalise. Et pour nous, c'est un travail que nous menons en accompagnant la formation, euh, parce que c'est une compétence de la région, en accompagnant la formation des demandeurs d'emploi, mais aussi des personnels qui sont en activité. Dernier challenge, challenge, développer la démarche qualité au niveau des entreprises. Et là, effectivement, on demande aux entreprises quels sont les éléments euh, qui s'inspirent de, de la durabilité euh, et qu'est-ce qu'ils mettent en avant. Mais il y a aussi, de notre point de vue, un aspect important, c'est celui de la satisfaction des clients. Mmh. 
-hmm. Donc voilà les quatre challenges qu'on met en œuvre en région Occitanie dans le quotidien de, de, du travail que nous faisons dans une, dans une institution. Merci. Et, um, your choice. Uh, and I think you're going also to speak about Panorama Project. If yes, you, if you want to, just to, some just words about it. Just a couple of words. I would like to, to bring my experience yeah. uh, about my region too. I'm coming from Tuscany region, Florence, which is one of the most crowding city in the world. Maybe not so many sustainable, but believe me, if you walk around the city, it's very crowded. So I think in almost all the period of the year. So uh, what is uh, uh, the idea of Panoramed? We already have the opportunity to meet several times as uh, experts, tourism experts. Uh, the idea of Panoramed is to create a process, a unique voice in the Mediterranean to give answer, unique answer or shared answer to uh, the main challenges. One of these is sustainable tourism. Mm -hmm. So I know, I'm aware that each of us sitting here is competitors. I mean, uh, if I'm talking to my president, he said, bring more tourism. If she's talking to her president, it's, it's the same. So what we must do is to uh, find a way in Panoramed to uh, create a uh, better uh, governance to face main challenges, uh, which may be uh, more... Uh, useful data, for mm -hmm. instance, which is something which is very useful for everybody, which is offer us the possibility to better plan and to better manage tourist inflow and different issues. From my uh, regional uh, per perspective, uh, what we have done during this, year, during this year, we try to have a better governance. Professor said before that in Italy, we have uh, the minister, which has no competence, and mm -hmm. then we have the region. We have got competence and money, let me say. <laughs> okay. uh, and then we have the municipality, which has got money because they earn the taxes for tourism. So uh, it's a, the first uh, aim to make something sustainable is to, to create a better governance, which make mm -hmm. people uh, discussing and find proper and shared solution. Uh, one of these, for instance, in Tuscany was to create a sort of uh, participation from people, a local stakeholder. Our uh, strategic uh, tourism plan was made by, uh, through a participatory approach. So we create several tables where we mm -hmm. discuss with people, uh, companies, municipality, uh, the minister was present. So, so we discuss with them how to have a better and sustainable tourism in Tuscany, and we bring out from this experience a strategic plan. So this is one of the main experiences. Looking at this, then we also had some uh, uh, other uh, activities as the colleagues explained yeah. to, to try to spread tourists all around the region mm -hmm. and to attract also mm -hmm. in less, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, popular parts of the region, yeah. which is anyway a job uh, to make people aware mm -hmm. that they can uh, participate in a different way and they can have a better experience if they visit Tuscany which, with a different approach, which is not a consuming approach. So there are also several experiences, but the first one it was to create a better governance and to better manage challenges at regional level for tourism, of course, and at the same time to try to spread tourism all over uh, the region by using several means, tools, uh, approaches. Of course, okay. I will give you a concrete example, if you want now, just by uh, an, an overall presentation. Okay, thank you. Let's, Natalia. So, from Croatia, uh, when I heard all of my colleagues from other regions and countries, uh, I think uh, all med uh, destinations have the same problems. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, this um, uh, pl Panoramed platform is uh, actually, uh, when I hear uh, the same problems, it's a very good uh, way uh, so we can uh, all share uh, our experiences and uh, solve problems uh, in all destinations in the same way. Uh, also regarding Croatia, I would like to add uh, maybe um, regarding the seasonal over-tourism as our colleagues 
uh, from our, co our colleague from Greece already mentioned. Uh, we have an um, additional problem uh, regarding over -tour tourism in narrow hot spots. So, for example, when you go to Dubrovnik, uh, you have only 300 meters of the main street. It's like UNESCO heritage spot. And uh, so this is also one additional challenge that we mm -hmm. all need to tackle. So it's, uh, it's uh, connected to the uh, overconsumption of uh, cultural and natural resources. So I would like just, just like to yeah. say that all our problems uh, are actually the same. So we definitely need to uh, share the experience and uh, try to find a solution in, on a med area. And since all of you represent different administration levels, um, what do you think are the obstacles in order to mainstream them to policies, to mainstream the, the problems that you have? How, how do you solve them at the administration levels in each of the territories? Do you want to start? Yes, yeah, sure. You're free, you're free to interrupt each other or whatever. Okay. Uh, penso que la, les principals barreres és uh, la mentalitat per fer canvis uh, a nivell de la gestió de les destinacions i a nivell de la gestió de les empreses turístiques. Aquest canvi d'actitud que abans el professor, el professor Font uh, es feia preguntes no? sobre en fi, com uh, deixar de viatjar tant amb avió o, o com uh, fer aconseguir menys residus. Això al final passa per uns canvis d'actituds en el nivell personal, en el nivell uh, professional, en el nivell uh, en fi, de, de polítiques, eh? de, de, de decisions polítiques. I aquest canvi d'actitud és, és el que uh, realment uh, és una, una barrera molt important i el que fa yeah. que, que, tri, que es trigui tant de temps doncs, amb, amb, amb enfocar aquests objectius uh, de la sostenibilitat del, del social, ambiental, cultural uh, i, i en general. També, lògicament, la implantació de, de mesures que requereixen inversions, inversions públiques o inversions privades, inversions importants que a dia d'avui, tal com estan plantejats, tal com està plantejat l'equilibri de preus entre oferta i demanda, aquestes inversions doncs, no, no s'avaluen viables o, mm. o possibles. No? I per tant, bueno, anem, anem posposant mm. la solució de, de, del problema doncs, a, pel futur a mig o a llarg termini. I com que cada dia rebem missatges cada cop més, més alarmants sobre la sostenibilitat del planeta, doncs potser eh, estem rebent l'impacte necessari per fer el canvi d'actitud que requereix aquestes implantacions, de, ja sigui d'inversions o el disseny de noves polítiques a l'hora de gestionar les destinacions. No? Per tant, crec que, que aquests factors de barrera hi són, i com a facilitadors diria que les noves generacions molt joves, eh, molt joves eh, estem veient avui a Europa moviments en aquest sentit molt sí. clamorosos, sí. requerint, requerint doncs, la, la, la implantació de mesures a nivell local, regional, transnacional i europeu, la implantació de mesures que realment enfoquin el canvi, climat, el canvi climàtic. So money and attitude yes. are the both. Are, are you agree? Do you agree? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, we are mixing all the, all the languages. Um, he, he was, I think, the, the resume, the, con, the final two things that he thinks are the, the most important for, for the administrations here in, in, in Spain or Catalonia are money and attitude. Do you agree with, with him or are there more? Pourquoi on ne on utilise pas les bonnes pratiques, les bonnes méthodes, les bons outils qui sont développés par Interregmed J'ai envie de dire que c'est parce que peut-être on ne connaît pas assez ces outils, ces méthodes et finalement ce programme. Mmh. Euh, même si nous sommes nombreux dans la salle, je pense que quand nous retournons sur les territoires dont nous venons, quand on parle à, aux acteurs du tourisme, euh, des, communes, des, communaux, des, des acteurs infra-régionaux, finalement, ils ne connaissent pas euh, Interregmed ou connaissent très peu. Donc il y a un problème peut-être de notoriété d'Interregmed. Mmh. Deuxième sujet, 
Où est-ce que je trouve les résultats Où est-ce que je trouve les outils Est-ce qu'il y a quelque part, sur le net, puisqu'aujourd'hui on se renseigne sur le net, est-ce que ces résultats sont accessibles, facilement accessibles euh, Est-ce qu'ils sont packagés pour être utilisé par d'autres Est-ce qu'on a des guides méthodologiques Est-ce qu'on a des MOOC Non, je n'ai jamais vu un MOOC sur ces résultats interregmed. Et il y a des, des, des choses d'excellent niveau euh, qui sont euh, là. Donc j'ai l'impression qu'on euh, est un peu euh, en train de travailler. Il y, y a beaucoup de matière grise, beaucoup de recherche, beaucoup de production. Mais on ne se préoccupe pas, un, du besoin du client, d'abord, qui sont les clients de ces résultats, on ne, se ré... on ne se préoccupe pas du produit final, on ne se préoccupe pas de, de la distribution et on ne s'occupe pas de la notoriété. Bref, il n'y a pas de marketing sur mmh. ces résultats et c'est ce qui, à mon sens, peut euh, pénaliser euh, le l'implémentation de, 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 ces, de ces résultats dans des, chez l'ensemble des partenaires. Mais c'est quelque chose d'intuitif, je ne l'ai pas mesuré, je ne l'ai pas vérifié. Je pense que Natalia a quelque chose à dire. Je pense que vous étiez... Je pense que vous étiez dit que peut-être l'argent et l'attitude sont... I mean, I, we, we all agree about uh, the conclusions uh, and uh, Magali uh, told us uh, uh, what are the challenges uh, how, and how to mainstream the results of all the projects. I think all the projects that were implemented before. Uh, so I think that uh, the good um, point and the good um, moment is uh, at this stage because uh, now we uh, All, uh, all the MED countries or, or regions uh, are now uh, preparing the strategic projects that uh, oh, we will uh, uh, actually submit tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, at noon. <laughs> uh, and um, we will start the implementation of these uh, projects uh, um, on, uh, in September. The main uh, focus in, within the projects is uh, sustainability and the empowerment uh, uh, of the MED destination how to boost the competitiveness of the med uh, destinations, so med area. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, uh, it's a good uh, moment that we will now, the, uh, actually during the studying uh, phase of our project, we will analyze all the results Uh, uh, that uh, were happening within the previously implemented projects and try to really uh, take them into consideration and uh, mainstream them uh, into the policies uh, uh, during, the, during our strategic project. The good uh, point is also that uh, uh, all the partners within the, these strategic projects are uh, national level, uh, And so the ministries or uh, regional uh, uh, level uh, authorities or, or municipalities. So we will uh, have the possibility to really mainstream the policies uh, on all levels. So it's, it's really good, a good moment for at this stage. Go ahead. And I also add, of course, I agree with both colleagues and we're also, as a Ministry of Tourism, a partner in Smart Med Project. The problem for me is not only where are the outputs of the previous Interact projects. The problem is who searches for these outputs, even if they are out there. For example, in Greece, uh, the competency for policy making uh, in tourism is at the Ministry of Tourism. But the ministry hasn't been involved until now in mm -hmm. any interact projects. And I'm not saying that it's only policy makers who should be partners, but the partners should actually let the national authorities or regional or who it is every time, the policy makers, let them know. And if politicians change, Uh, there should be ambassadors of the projects to mainstream them and turn them into policy making because otherwise we, we keep replicating the same thing for the next policy maker, for the next government because they don't want to hear anything about what's done before. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. I totally agree with Elia, but I just add something which is when you're writing a project, 
please think about the mainstreaming, not as a slogan, <laughs> like sustainability, I'm sustainability. Mm -hmm. So, but think how you want really to implement this. Uh, she, she's right when you say, uh, people come to me, put on the table something, say, please use it. And I say, but thank you. But <laughs> even if, if it's for free, I need something different. <laughs> so, yeah. okay, can you adapt this or no? If you want to adapt, we need money. So, yeah. okay. <laughs> It's a little bit. So please, when you are writing project, if you really want to have a political impact on this, think really about mainstreaming approach, which it doesn't mean to promote the project, to organize events, to, to make pub, because you can say, <laughs> but really have a clear plan about how you would like that, for instance, my office, my region, will be able to transform that tools or that solution, that methodology in, a, uh, I don't know what, a some a laws or some tools or some mm -hmm. uh, money, that strategies or money that we should put uh, for the territory. So it's really important that project keep really seriously since the beginning the idea of mainstreaming and how to want to implement it and uh, go in that direction instead of uh, uh, coming at the end and say, okay, this is the tools, uh, it will be nice if you could use it. I'm sorry if a little yeah. bit too direct, but this is really the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, they appreciate that. <laughs> um, and do you, what do you think is the, the role of the private sector in, in that? Because you, we're speaking about from the point of view of the administrations, but I am suppose you work with the private sector too. Just, just imagine, uh, just imagine, if there's no private sector, there's no tourism. Exactly. So, the price, the what is at the heart of the system is the tourist. Around, we have the production des entreprises, et puis autour, on a euh, l'écrin dans lequel va se dérouler l'activité touristique, donc les équipements, les aménagements, ce qui relève du service public. Mais au cœur, ce sont des métiers du tourisme, sinon il n'y a pas d'entreprise. Donc on, on a le devoir de travailler avec les entreprises et d'insuffler des pratiques vertueuses, mmh en donnant des subventions, des aides, des encouragements, on a un certain nombre de leviers qui permettent d'impliquer les entreprises. Francesc Non, totalment, totalment d'acord. No, no puc afegir res. El sector privat ha d'estar al centre. Eh, ha de, fins i tot jo esperaria que liderés, en, en, en bona mesura, lider, liderés eh, els canvis per implantar, implementar en fi, accions que fessin més sostenibles l'activitat turística I, el, i, i, i al costat amb l'administració doncs, per trobar l'equilibri, les mesures, la regulació, l'ordenació necessària perquè el sector privat trobi l'acomodo, no? s'acomodi bé per tirar endavant la, la seva, el seu impuls eh, que no és altre que el prestar un servei en, una, en un context de mercat lliure que vol dir que hi ha una oferta, hi ha una demanda I, i, que, i que aquesta oferta i aquesta demanda doncs, ha de trobar un, un equilibri. I llavors, el sector privat aquí és, és clau. És clau. Mm -hmm. podem, podem dir moltes coses, podem dir moltes coses eh, però si el sector privat no se sent implicat en, en implantar mesures cap a la sostenibilitat, no, no avançarem. No avançarem. Mm -hmm. Anyone else want to add something? Do you want... In my opinion, I mean, the tourism product is something made by public and private one. I mean, mm -hmm. you cannot work separate without it. this and separate it. I make an example. Uh, my region is now work, la launching a new campaign on plastic-free be beaches, I don't know, uh, spiagge, uh, plastic-free. The Italian <laughs> colleague maybe can translate it. Uh, so, uh, plastic-free uh, beach or seaside, I don't know how to call yes. it exactly in English. And, uh, um, of course, as regional, uh, we, ha we made a protocol, uh, an agreement with uh, all relevant actors, which mainly are uh, municipality, some public institutions, and uh, private uh, people which are working on this. And we agreed that, for instance, since this uh, year, they are not used, for instance, uh, uh, plastic in uh, uh, glasses uh, okay. and... Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, so they, they, 
they bring a commitment on this, uh, and they are doing this. And they, if they don't do it, there are some sanctionatory, so uh, they can be... Um, Punished, I don't punished. know if it's uh, yeah. exactly the word. Uh, it's mandatory, they have to do yes, it. Yes, it's mandatory. So it's something that they, will, they wanted to do uh, voluntarily. I mean, okay. it's an agreement. It's not something that comes by law. So we, we have discussion, we decide together, we sign an agreement, but now they are obliged to do this. Uh -huh. So, uh, I th and we support them by uh, promoting, by uh, launching campaigns, so they get benefit from this, of course. So, if you want to make something uh, sustainable in the tourist value chain, uh, you must involve at least both uh, of the part, public one and uh, private one. Mm -hmm. They've got a role. Sometimes you have to push a little bit, yeah. but you cannot act uh, without them, otherwise you risk that... Uh, uh, you're not uh, uh, right at the point. Focus on the right thing. Yeah. Um, and I think you all have mentioned, on, or maybe before on, in the coffee break, uh, something about the growth, and we all have the problem in Mediterranean countries. Do you think a tourism model based on continuous growth is sustainable? And how do you deal in your own countries with the growth in, in tourism? A Catalunya i a Barcelona no, aquest ja no és el nostre model. Uh -huh. eh, sí, amb, amb el pla estratègic de Catalunya, amb el pla de màrqueting de Catalunya, amb, el, amb l'estratègia de màrqueting de la destinació a Barcelona que estem fent en aquest moment, eh, aquest, aquest, aquest ja no és l'objectiu. Nosaltres no, no ens referenciem eh, o no ens, no ens orientem a aconseguir un creixement constant de, de visitants o de pernoctacions, per dir-ho així, El que, el que diem és que ens, ens orientem a, no a més turisme, sinó a un millor turisme. Un millor turisme vol dir aquell que, volem dir, aquell que genera eh, aquí a la destinació un millor impacte, no només econòmic, uh -huh. sinó també eh, prenent en consideració doncs, la, qualitat de, la qualitat de vida dels residents i la qualitat de l'experiència turística dels, dels que Descrenen. visiten. Per tant, això són paràmetres que canvien, o són coordenades que canvien l'enfoc de les nostres polítiques d'ara cap endavant. I, i per tant, canvien la, el que són les, les gestions i els, i els objectius. No? Quan definim una estratègia de màrqueting que estem fent en aquest moment, doncs eh, en aquesta estratègia hi ha un fonament clar que és que el turisme que volem aconseguir ha de ser sostenible uh -huh. per la destinació. Per tant, aquesta és la premissa i, i, i això orienta els criteris del màrqueting que farem passat demà. I aquests criteris ens han d'orientar a trobar la demanda que sigui sensible a la nostra destinació, que sigui sensible a allò que som i a allò que oferim. Mm -hmm. Per tant, que gaudeixi del que som, que ens respecti com som i que respecti com som des de l'espai urbà fins als paratges naturals o la platja, però partim d'aquesta premissa, de saber trobar aquest visitant que, està, que, que apreciarà eh, eh, aquestes qualitats que, li, que oferim en el producte turístic. Mm -hmm. um, so we're talking about quality tourism, but sometimes we, we are not sure about what does it mean. It's, quality means more money, quality means, as you said, it's not specifically about money, but appreciate the, the destination, but how do you... How can you attract just that kind of tourism? It's hard, I think. Do you want to add something? Yeah. Uh, I think one issue is attracting and developing special interest tourism products because uh, apart from sea, sun and all the things that we've known, uh, you need to develop clusters of um, different activities to attract tourists to do different things. Of course, everyone's gonna go see the Sagrada Familia, but maybe there's other things around uh, available there for them to do, which are not that... Uh, crowded. Or crowding. Yeah. Magali, I think you, you, you had something about that, yeah. When, uh, quand nous avons travaillé uh, avec le, le le euh, Panoramed, on avait parlé, évoqué cette notion de croissance et euh, 
nous étions convenus que la croissance, elle, ce n'était pas que des chiffres, et que ce n'était pas que de la croissance économique. Et on avait qualifié la croissance comme croissance inclusive euh, et responsable. C'est-à-dire qu'à la notion économique euh, très axée sur les chiffres et sur une augmentation de chiffres, on ajoutait des éléments euh, plus, plus difficiles à objectiver, qui sont ceux de la qualité de vie des habitants, qui sont partie mmh. prenante euh, des destinations, et la notion de responsable. Mmh. Voilà, donc la, la croissance, le, le champ était un peu plus euh, large que la seule croissance économique. Économique, ouais. oui. De, de, na, Natalia ou Manola Okay. Smart growth, which is what the Commission used as a concept. I mean, the idea of uh, broad, the idea of growth, which is not just economic or earn money. Yeah. Oh, I would uh, just add that I agree with uh, my colleagues. Uh, for uh, all uh, our uh, countries, uh, tourism is very important economic uh, sector and. Um, It, it is definitely important to have a growth, but sustainable growth. And um, this concept of uh, smart tourism uh, will uh, definitely take into consideration all the aspects, uh, social aspect and um, uh, like a social inclusion uh, aspect of um, uh, innovation and uh, uh, culture and identity, <laughs> so uh, definitely growth, yes, but uh, in a more uh, different, with a different approach. In a different approach. Uh, I think we have maybe five minutes for a question. Yeah. Okay. We're going. That's in Spanish. I can even like implement implicar a la población local que no viven en el del turismo en su planificación o gestión del población. Uh, To, to what point do you, do you take into account the, the local citizens in tourism in, uh, when you are planning or managing uh, the tourism? Yes, it's very pertinent this question because I think that at the end of this afternoon we have not referred a la gente. Eh, a, a, sí. es, a, 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 precisamente a la población local. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y efectivamente eh, es un player, la población es un player que de ahora en adelante pues, la tenemos que tener muy presente eh, en, tanto en, lo, en el ejercicio de planificación como en el ejercicio de gestión uh -huh. del turismo. Eh, no podemos, no podemos eh, seguir pensando que eh, nuestra actividad de promoción eh, es al margen de la población. Hay que, hay que incorporar la experiencia, hay que incorporar eh, la vivencia del, del residente en, en, su, en, su, en su propia población como quiere que sea el turismo. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y por tanto es, es fundamental. Uh -huh. Cómo lo hacemos es otra cosa, pero es fundamental. <laughs> And we have another one. If you had to decide as policy goals in territorial sustainability between more sustainable tourists or less unsustainable tourists, which one would you opt for? Please try to express an opinion. I have done time. No, I pass, I pass my turn. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Elaya, Manuela, no? No, I already expressed my point of view uh, since the beginning. I mean, mm. the idea right now, it's not just, I mean, of course that each one of us has, uh, uh, is, uh, has the, um, I mean, the mandate to promote tourism, and that means increase tourism. But I'm talking about my region, my region so uh, when you are talking about increased tourism, you take into consideration a lot of aspects which is spread on the territory, make it in a sustainable way, uh, make them live an experience which is uh, uh, com compatible, I mean, which is in line, which creates equilibrium with the local uh, people. So uh, it's not just increase or not increase, it's try to increase by taking into consideration a lot of aspects. Mm -hmm. So it's a political answer, I know. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, really, this is the true, I think uh, each one can give the same answer. Natalia also, yeah, Thanks. agree. Frances, do you want to add something? 
Com que és una pregunta dicotòmica, simple, jo em pronuncio a favor de més turisme sostenible. Entre les dues... I think it's a good way to finish the debate. So, thank you all for being here. It's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you. Thank you all.